Okay, in this screencast I'll show you how to connect and work with the Seabird uh, Seaterm V2. Uh, first, I'm working with a computer without serial ports. If you have a serial port, you'll shorten a piece of it and I'll show you which one. Um, okay, so first what I do I want to find the port I'm working with. To do that, I'll go to the control panel and look for the device manager and run it. And you can see I'm working with a USB to serial port and it's connected on COM10. Having knowing that, I can now run CSAVE. This is Windows 8, so uh, so it's a CTEM V2, and I'm working with Seabird 19 Plus V2. And you, as you can see, it's now connected. It's worked okay. If if the communication configuration was wrong, let's say I would work with the inappropriate baud rate or port, it would look differently. Just connect. And you can see the text is unreadable. It, I'm now on the right port, but with a wrong baud rate, it fixes it. One more thing, when I go to this configuration window, sometimes I will have many ports here in the list, and I don't know which one to connect. I would connect to the one I think is uh, right, and the device manager which I showed you will help you do that. One more thing, you can disconnect your serial port, go to the discover serial ports, which fills this list. You will have few COM ports listed here. Then I reconnect it and I discover again. The ones that are added is the one that I want to connect to. So it's okay. Let me connect again. Okay, it's connected. Now one more thing I can do using the CTERN is send commands to the CTD sensor. And the basic command I always use is the DS command. I can type it right here. It shows me the, the, the sense of status. There are many things it, it tells me. It's not the time now. And I can do it through here. Get display uh, configuration data in XML. It's another command. Get CD. And I get an XML file displaying the status of the uh, sensor. Sometimes when I open the C term, I won't have the uh, list of commands here. What I do then is I load the command file. And I only have to select the, the correct one. And the list is filled again. This is it for this screencast.